I hope you all are doing good today. Uh, I wanted to share one of my paintings with you. This piece is titled Mirage of the Separate Soul. And uh, when I made this, I, I chose the style of Neo-Expressionism. You can see some detailed sections of it here. I chose this painting style because I wanted to go back to the basics and try to emanate the feeling of myself deep down, a feeling that wasn't, um, it wasn't molded by any preconceived notions of what art should be like. And so stripping everything away and kind of um, going back to something that would be more of a basic sense of art and design, like what I would have made when I was a child. And this is reminiscent of work of Picasso in his Cubism phase and also his later work. Um, as well, um, the most famous neo-expressionist um, that I think most people have heard of is Basquiat. And if you haven't heard of Basquiat, um, I've posted a link in the description area of this video if you would like to learn more. We often think about the soul as a separate thing, like each person has a separate soul. But to me, that's, that's not how I understand reality. Uh, so in, in this piece, I have here represented sort of human forms, and, and this part could be seen as one soul, and, and this another soul. But if you notice, they're together, there's a bridge, sort of, uh, or, or an area that's uniting both souls. And then up here, if you flip it this direction, you can see better. It looks like a profile of a face up there as well. And so I was kind of thinking, uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with Carl Jung and the collective unconscious. And so that's kind of what I was thinking here with this area would represent. And so then these are separate people or separate essences of humanity and the, the idea that we think we are separate. And then this area that connects is the collective unconscious. Another way to look at it, as I always put a lot of psychology in my pieces. Another way to look at it is these could represent um, the id, ego, and superego of Freud. So it just kind of depends. Some people are into Freudian psychology, some aren't. Um, but I, I kind of myself gravitate uh, more toward Jungian psychology. But I kind of see uh, multiple readings of this piece and multiple things come through in the work. Another common question about my work is what these symbols mean. Now I put a lot of symbols in my pieces. Um, you can see here uh, my signature also has a symbol with it. I've explained that in previous videos uh, what that signature symbol means so I won't explain that here uh, but this symbol it doesn't really it doesn't mean anything in particular. Uh, what it means is, is uh, sort of the essence of abstract communication in written form. And so it's a, the reason why I kind of put the communication here as a separate entity from the self or the two parts of our soul that we think are separate but really aren't is that the communication is at the core of our understanding of ourself and each other yet sometimes it, it, it's foreign to us and it feels like it's hard to describe these spaces of the collective unconscious. And so for me, this, this language is like, it's here, you know, it's, I can't, I can't explain what happens here in the collective in words, but in my artwork, I can explain it in a way that, that words could never describe. And so that's one of the reasons why I love artwork so much. I love making art. You can see in here, I put lots of marks in here um, very quick, uh, in the moment. And I made this, this piece, a lot of the pieces from this series, so that you could turn them around and display them in different directions. And they look like different pieces. So it kind of makes it fun. It makes the artwork be able to transform just like ourself, and just like we do in life. Thank you for watching and learning about my painting, Mirage of the Separate Soul. If you would like to see um, more detailed photos and learn more about this piece, see the other pieces in this body of work, I've posted links in the description area of this video. I'll see you next time.